Welcome everyone, and thank you for joining our panel on 5G Boundless XR, which is bringing a wave of innovation. I'm Deb Marich. As Senior Director of Product Marketing at Qualcomm Technologies, I've had the privilege of watching innovations in 5G and XR grow from an idea to reality. And it's taking some groundbreaking innovations and collaborations to get here. Over the past few years, Qualcomm Technologies and Ericsson have worked together to define what's possible in XR and 5G. We've moved beyond mobile phones and into a world of XR that's opened up entirely new opportunities in areas like education, medical, fitness, collaborative workspaces, and really so many more. Truly expanding our experiences and allowing us to do things we hadn't thought possible until now. The vision of yesterday is becoming the reality of today. We are right on the cusp of some exciting developments, which is why I'm so thrilled to be joined today by two experts in the XR and 5G field. I'm sitting in one of our VR labs in San Diego with Sujit Plarash, Director of Product Management. He oversees XR and gaming hardware at Qualcomm Technologies. And joining us all the way from Stockholm, Marie Hogan, she is the head of mobile broadband and IoT networks at Ericsson. Hey, Hello, Marie. Marie. Thanks for joining us. In today's conversation, we'll dive into the power of 5G Boundless XR to learn what it is, what it's capable of, and of course, what's next. Thank you both for joining me today. As you well know, 5G has been a focus of both Ericsson and Qualcomm for many years. Marie, what is it about XR that's particularly suited to benefit from 5G? Absolutely. So as you correctly said, Deb, up to now, the initial focus for commercial 5G has very much been on smartphones and mobile broadband. But now, as 5G starts to roll out globally, it's time to start looking at what comes next. So at Ericsson, we believe that XR is a key area where we, together with an industry leader like Qualcomm, can truly start to unleash the full potential of 5G. XR has very demanding requirements with heavy graphics and large amounts of data that needs to be processed very rapidly to ensure a realistic end user experience. With 5G, we have the possibility to access much more spectrum and deliver very large amounts of data at very high speeds. We can take advantage of the very low latency that 5G inherently offers to provide much faster response times. 5G will also allow the possibility to deliver bounded latency, which guarantees the delivery of data within a certain time, ensuring extremely stable network connections end to end and connections that stay within the needed latency and jitter budgets. We can also add new technology that enables compute at the edge to support this heavy graphics rendering. Ericsson has rolled out many 5G networks globally and on all types of spectrum from low bands to millimeter wave. We have been working on optimizing latencies, coverage, data throughput, quality of service handling, scheduling, and end-to-end -end slicing in real environments. And based on the experiences and the knowledge gained together with partners like Qualcomm, we can expect XR over 5G to become a reality commercially very soon. Marie, as you pointed out, the technology in 5G and XR really are opening up so many new possibilities. Sajith, great to have you here today. Great to be here, Deb. Can you share with us a little bit of Qualcomm's insight on 5G and XR, or what we like to call boundless XR? Absolutely. So we at Qualcomm believe that 5G and XR is going to unleash a whole new way for people to collaborate with each other. You're going to need several hundred watts of processing to render all of the graphics for the realistic 3D avatars and the rest of the digital content in a scene. However, you have typically less than 10 watts on an XR headset so that the headset needs to be lightweight and sleek. So how do you solve this challenge? This is where Boundless XR comes in. Boundless XR is our solution where you can leverage powerful edge compute resources over a low latency 5G link to augment on-device processing. We split the processing where all of the graphics rendering that is heavy in compute is done on the edge compute resource, and then the low latency processing for XR is done on the device. I have with me here 
our XR2 headset, and it has all of the low latency processing for boundless XR done on this device. And that includes full room scale, six degrees of freedom head tracking, controller tracking, and hand tracking. It also has low latency video and 4K by 4K 90 frames per second display to render all of the beautiful graphics that's being delivered over a millimeter wave. It has the SDX55 modem that includes also three millimeter wave antennas, four sub six antennas, and this ensures optimal coverage as the user moves around in their digital environment. Clearly, both companies have done a lot of work to get to this point. Sajith, can you give us any more recent proof points? Absolutely. So we've been working very closely with Ericsson for the past two years on our boundless XR journey. As Mary mentioned, bounded latency and low jitter are extremely important for this use case. We initially started working with Ericsson on optimizing these latencies for a single device. We then added more and more devices to stress the network. As a, as a matter of fact, this lab right here is where we did all of that testing. And you can see we have the millimeter wave 5G Ericsson uh, base station right there. We today are able to deliver PC grade VR content over millimeter wave to six devices in a single cell. We are ready to move from the lab into the real world with our operator partners. Ericsson, NVIDIA, Qualcomm are deploying this boundless XR solution in commercial trials with our operator partners. We are initially focusing on private 5G deployments where we're going to use an on-prem Ericsson infrastructure with Edge Compute running the Cloud XR stack from NVIDIA, delivering PC VR content to uh, the XR2 headsets over a millimeter wave. We're looking forward to all of the use cases and the new business models that come out of these trials. That is great. I mean, single user to multi-user is great improvement. Marie, I know there's an operator trial going on using 5G Boundless XR. Is there anything you can tell us about it? We're super excited to work with British Telecom and Qualcomm on a commercial VR trial at the moment with a manufacturing company called Hyperbat in the UK. Hyperbat are working on the production of state-of-the-art batteries for electrical and, and hybrid vehicles. This trial showcases a 5G VR digital twin solution which will allow design and engineering teams in different physical locations to walk around and interact with a 3D life-size object in real time, but without the constraints of a physical connection. And they will, of course, be using Qualcomm's 5G native VR headset, Ericsson's 5G network infrastructure, and NVIDIA's cloud XR server platform. The trial is using a local area private network setup right now, but as 5G networks become more widespread and further optimized, we can foresee the possibilities of wide area XR opening up. And this means the emergence of all sorts of use cases. XR can be a game changer in terms of improving efficiency, safety, and convenience for consumers and enterprises. And it will open up a huge area of new revenue opportunities for operators also. So beyond this manufacturing trial example, that we've talked about here, XR could also be used for advanced assisted driving, remote education, remote surgical procedures, virtual shopping, advanced gaming, VR for entertainment. And with the situation we find ourselves in currently with the global pandemic limiting travel and demanding remote education and remote working, you can understand how many of these applications become more relevant to the society at large. Thank you both for sharing your insights today. As we've heard from our experts, Boundless XR will fully leverage 5G capabilities. And the vision of the past is being realized with commercial trials that are happening now. The innovation in network, cloud XR, and device technologies, and collaborations of companies like Qualcomm and Ericsson is critical to open new doors and experiences for generations to come. Thank you everyone for taking the time to chat with us about the joint collaborations and the wave of innovation that is making Boundless XR a reality today. Bye, Marie. Bye, Marie. Thank you.